Hey gang, I'm Julian Northbrook from doingenglish.com and today I'm going to talk a little bit about two different types of people when it comes to confidence and why both can be a problem for speaking English well. But first, check out the studio that I have got for the next month or so. The apartment I'm currently staying in comes with a complete sound studio. It's actually owned by a musician and he's given me permission to use uh, his equipment. I'm going to set up a uh, broadcast microphone in here and I'm going to catch up on all the recording and filming and the creating of great sessions for my Extraordinary English Speakers, MEFA members and a couple of free things to go up on uh, both this, this, this well, where you're watching this video and on the doingenglish.com website. So look forward to those coming soon. But back to the original topic. So when it comes to speaking English well, uh, in terms of confidence, really there are two types of people. People who have no confidence whatsoever, and this is a problem because when they actually need to get out there and do things with their English, well, they don't have the confidence to do it. And so they don't push themselves, they don't step out of their comfort zone, and they don't improve as quickly as somebody who does have a lot of confidence. However, on the other hand, we have people who have like an extraordinary amount of confidence, and they also have a particular problem. You see, confidence can be somewhat of a double-edged sword, because if you are simply not afraid of getting out there, making mistakes, completely fucking up your English, as long as you're understood and you manage to get the job done, you don't really care, well, you've got very little motivation, very little incentive to actually fix your mistakes and improve and become not just somebody who is quite fluent in communicating in English, but someone who is actually an eloquent, sophisticated sounding speaker of the language. I mean, put quite simply, someone who is quite happy to go out there speaking quite shit messy English all the time is, is really always going to speak like that. And although they may get to a very high level of fluency and communicative ability, Ability, as I've just said, they will really just get stuck there and won't reach those higher levels of mastery. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that having no confidence at all is a good thing, because for the reasons I just said a moment ago, like if you don't have the confidence, if you don't have the right mindset, the right attitude, well, you're going to have totally the opposite problem. You are going to have a very, very academic, very theoretical knowledge of English and very little in the way of actual practical ability with the language. What I'm really trying to say here is balance is important. Confidence is important, yes, but having too much confidence can also be a problem. Now, Regardless of which of these two types of people you are, I can help you. And really the solution to them, to fixing the problem, is exactly the same regardless of which you are. It's all about challenging your habits and behaviours, and there are 10 that I've identified that most people have uh, in one way or another, uh, and when you challenge and criticise those and actually kind of resolve those, it's going to make uh, learning and using the language and actually improving from that usage a hell of a lot easier. And I take all of my uh, clients through that process in my Master English Fast Accelerator course, particularly in week one and two. And if you're interested in that course, you can and should head over to doingenglish.com slash mefa and check out the information page. So if having me, your boy, Julian Northbrook, help you personally with mastering the English language sounds good, go check it out. I am now going to sign off from this video. Before I do, head down to the comments and tell me, which of these two types of people are you? Do you have no confidence and that holds you back? Or do you have extraordinary confidence and as a result have quite messy, inconsistent English? Let us know in the comments and I am going to say bye-bye.